I'm Zeno Promet from Surfcasters Journal. We got a lot of emails and questions at the show about the Super Strike Poppers. The guys read about it, they seen the videos, they know they catch a lot of fish, but they are a little bit hesitant of using Super Strike sinking poppers, the ones that we like the most. This one in particular that I have in my hand, this is the heavy version of their most popular uh, two and three eight ounce little neck sinking popper. Um, I believe that people get scared of sinking poppers is because they sink and they feel it's harder to work them than a floating popper, which in reality it is. Floating popper will always be staying on the surface and you can basically twitch it, stop, twitch it, stop. But it's not nearly as effective as a sinking popper, especially in the rough water and the ocean surf. Why are the sinking poppers so effective? Well, for one reason, if you think about it, there's no bait fish that's struggling that will stay on the surface all the time. So any bait fish will try to escape from predators, but eventually it's gonna to have to sink down. And the beauty of these poppers, they break the water and then they sink down below as a struggling bait fish will. But the most important question is how to retrieve this plug with ease without feeling that you're not doing it right, that it's too hard, that it's sinking on you. How to just catch a rhythm and work a plug so every time you can go to the beach you know you're working it right. To me, this plug, there's a million different ways to work in it. At night you can float it, you can work behind the waves, you can work it through the waves, but on the end of the day, the simple approach is to use a rhythm for the most circumstances and for the most conditions. And when I say that, the rhythm usually means, for the most part, if you're using a this size reel, this is a Z-Bass 25, it's gonna be two cranks and a pop. Let me show you what I mean. Cast your lure, you pick up all your slack, you bring it up to the surface, and then you just go one, two, pop. One, two, pop, meaning two, Cranks of handle, one pop. And if you use similar size reel like the Z-Bass, it'll do the same thing because your, your ratio of retrieve is the same. And as you can see, it pops on the second crank when you lift your rod and then it sinks right down. So, two cranks, pop, two cranks, pop, two cranks, pop. And for the most conditions on your oceanfront beaches, this kind of rhythm will do will serve you very well to catch bass, bluefish, and whatever species are, are feeding on the top without feeling if you're doing it right, if you're doing it too fast. If you have these types of reels, somewhere in a pen 6500 series, around that size of spool, a Z Bass 25, or Pen Torque, a Van Stoll 250, you probably two cranks and a pop with these types of uh, poppers will work great. And of course, I should mention, this is one of the best casting poppers on the market. So this is why they're so popular and uh, we love them.